This fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck and God bless. Hi, I'm Seth. I'm Will. We are with Air Theater Designs, and uh, we we're just about to do an install, hence the garb today. But uh, we got about call number 500 on hey, what's the difference between Sonos and Heos? So we figured we've been talking about doing this video for what, three months? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Four months. Yeah. So we said, yeah. all right, let's. Pause on our install. Let's talk to you about differences between Sonos and Heos, and we can make those other 500 people happy. So, Sonos and Heos, you may be familiar. They are the two major players in the streaming media, streaming player arena these days. Yeah, easily. And uh, we sell a bunch of both of them. And so, here are some of the stuff that we see when it comes to pros and cons of the systems themselves, the apps, the ecosystem and lineup of products, and then you know, kind of what we see in performance and everything. Yeah. So um, I'd say that first with the app, let's take Sonos. Um, I'd say that the pros with that are going to be one. They kind of invented the category. Well, they, they really did invent the category. Yeah, they're the pioneers, definitely. Yep. So they've been around for close to 20 years. And as a result, everybody wants to play with Sonos. So Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, and 50 others. But let's take Apple Music first. So if you are an Apple guy and you love Apple, you might have a subscription set up to Apple Music's paid service. And it's, it's kind of cool. And everything else, Apple, Apple, Apple uh, AirPods, Apple Mac computer, you know, they're an Apple guy. Yep. So definitely. So if you're an Apple guy, Apple Music service works with Sonos, doesn't work with Heo. So that could be a problem. So if you want something that's going to play with the most services in the market, that's definitely a pro of going with Sonos. Um, another pro with Sonos that we've found is, let's say you've got Sonos in seven or eight different rooms. It's very seamless. They've got a button you push. It's a rooms button, appropriately. You push that, comes up with all the rooms. You just touch each circle that's on it. You hit done, ta-da. Got music everywhere. Yep. Voila. A little more clunky with Heos is kind of the drag this box into that box and I don't know if I was eating a piece of pizza with this hand or something and trying to do it probably wouldn't work very well. No, not with the greasy mushroom fingers or sausage pizza fingers. Yeah, well if I if I use that then it would work but then I got a greasy phone so it kind of Yeah, you could glide into that's it. That's a trade-off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have multiple rooms in Heos, you have a greasy phone. Mm, yeah. So if you don't want a greasy phone, that's that's definitely a con with with Heos. Um, pros with Heos so so let's say that you are a um, high-res music streaming guy. You want to get the best quality for music. Heos has high-res streaming through various music servers and through USB devices. They do. You don't, at this point, have that capability with Sonos. So that's definitely an advantage of going with Heos. Yeah, check for Heos on that one. Yep. Um, also, if you have music that is on your phone and you like playing that music with your system or you'd like to, Heos has a feature called Appropriately on this phone. So when you go to On This Phone, it'll have all the music that's there. You can do a form of that with Sonos. Uh, you can use a function that's called AirPlay yeah, to yeah. zap that over. AirPlay, though, doesn't sound as good. It's more clunky. There are issues with it dropping if you have a large home or you're walking from area to area. So that's where On This Phone seems to work better. So Yeah, the, the AirPlay, you also have issues if you get an incoming call to where it'll glitch out your phone and you're answering the call and you, you've experienced this before, right? Yep, I have, <laughs> I have. Yep, so, uh, so anyway, those are kind of the pros that we see, pros and cons of both of the different lines. Uh, now we can go into kind of the ecosystem between these two things. So with Sonos and Heos, the ecosystem, we're talking about the lineup of products that fit a specific need. They're, they're really pretty similar. You've got these portable types of speakers with both lines, and this is uh, Denon's or Heos's version here. This is Sonos's basic unit here. Uh, but think of these like modern boom boxes. Instead of a CD player and radio, you've got the Sonos brain built into them. So with both lines, you've got portables that go from these, which in a good, better, best, we call kind of the good line, up to their best lines, which are larger, fuller, better sounding. You've got sound bars. So if you've got a television that's got your speakers are about that big and sound horrible, you can add sound bars to either, which will help your TV sound good to great. Both of them have sound bars in various lines. Yeah. Both of them have players that will work with a surround sound setup. So you got a surround sound or stereo system. You go, hey, I want to listen to Heos or Sonos music. 
You got it? Voila. They also have that same player with muscle. So let's say, for example, you had you want to hook up some outdoor speakers. I got a box, that, that box has a Sonos brain, or Heos brain, and it's got muscle, it's got power behind it, so that wattage can push those speakers outside. So the way you'd use it is you get a pair of speakers, you get that piece, uh, it's called the Amp from Sonos, and Denon uh, Heos, they have their piece, they call it the HS Link, it's been kind of the same thing. Uh, they used to call it the Amp, and I think they got sued or something, and that, yeah. time to change the name. <laughs> but you'd be able to hook up that amp, hook up the speakers, go outside and go, hey, I want to listen to some music. Grab your phone, I want Pandora, I want the Eagle Station, and then turn your volume up and down. So I'd say from an ecosystem perspective, pretty comparable. Yeah, it's I'd say call it a wash. Yep. Got a tie score on that one. Yeah, yeah yep. Definitely. Um, what should we talk about next? Call um, it performance a little bit? Yeah, performance, and I know Sonos with atmos is going to take them get the check check on that one and they just literally just release the sonos beam with the atmos chipset in it so and denon the heo soundbar line they haven't updated theirs in about three years so they definitely they might have something brewing though it's kind of like the old uh the toyota tundra <laughs> <laughs> where like they haven't yeah, changed exactly. it since like 2003 and it was great in 2003 and now you're like oh, this is a little little outdated here yeah, they're like, but, we don't need to change a thing <laughs> yep yep um but uh performance yeah yeah so i would say that from a performance standpoint and, and real quick so atmos is as you might not know atmos is the new crazy surround sound that's out that gives a dimension of height so let's say i'm watching i know braveheart dude shoots the arrow the arrow kind of goes in a parabola um, you're getting that sensation of height. It's like, oh, the arrow is at 80 feet above my head as opposed to 10 feet above my head. So it's pretty cool. They have that capability with the Sonos pieces. They do. From a performance standpoint, we're taking just these portables. So between these portables, this guy normally sells for about 250 bucks. It's the basic Denon Heos portable speaker. This Sonos unit just went up in price, like everything is these days. Uh, it's about 220 bucks. The Denon one, stomps all over the Sonos one. Sorry, Sonos. Yeah, sorry. Deeper sound, more punchy, yeah. more presence. So the second we hooked them both up, we're just like, oh, geez, this thing just stomps all over this thing. Yeah, it almost um, sounds like a pair of speakers to where this one sounds more singular, like, sounds yeah, like and just Yeah, and just more tinny, more yeah, tinny. Definitely. So um, it's not bad. I use one in my garage, it's and not. it's nice to just give me sound down there, but the Denon does sound a lot better in that respect. In their sound bars, they don't have as much of kind of the dollar for dollar comparison. Because for example, there's a uh, piece from Sonos that normally was 400 bucks and that just went up in price again. Like uh, everything of course, else. yeah. Um, and the Denon, they had their kind of basic one at about $600. The Denon model sounds much better than the Sonos, but it should, because it's 200 bucks more. Yeah, um, yeah definitely should better. <laughs> so in our opinion, the Heo stuff does sound a little bit better. And I think it's a lot more subtle when you get into the component itself. Yeah. Because, you know, unless you've got our crazy $4,000 speakers and you're really doing critical listening, I think it's, it's like you said before, kind of a wash there. Yeah, um, definitely. You've got to have the diamond ears to, to, to pick it up. But, but in the portables and the sound bars, I think it's really noticeable. Yeah, it is. If, yeah. If, once you listen to a speaker like this, your standards are a little different, but listening to this, our standards are different and are pretty high, but listening to these, they still sound good. And if that's all you had, or that's you you wanna spend a certain amount of money, be on a budget, and, or have a speaker you can take from room to room, that's perfect. Yeah, yep, I agree. Um, one thing to be aware of with any of these Sonos or Denon slash Heos products is they're kind of marketed as, hey, hook it up yourself, attaches right to your network, it's great, it's easy. Um, it's not, uh, it can be, lots yeah. of times it's not. And so that's why if you go online and you, let's say you Google Sonos, and I'm, I haven't done this, so maybe this isn't true, but I'm, I'm sure it's true. <laughs> it probably if you is. go on there and you Google something like Sonos problems, we actually had a client just called for this, it was looking at, at Heos and Sonos. Um, he's like, oh, I don't wanna go with Sonos. I read about all these problems. Well, the problems are normally somebody that's got a $40 router they're 800 feet away from it and they're going hmm why does my sonos not connect it's, it's broken well the problem is you just have an insufficient network and you need a better network yeah um we can it, put a link at the bottom too if we have a previous 
network issue for Sonos because we had a lot of clients that were having issues. So that took a lot of, or it educated a lot of clients and or people who stumbled upon our video that were having Sonos issues thinking it was a crappy piece of equipment, but it was the network that was or, da- that was dated. Or, yeah, or other things. Yeah. Or other and things, we yeah. found we found it really wasn't our clients, because we like to think we set things up the right <laughs> way. But there were people we'd go to their house and they're like, hey, my Sonos isn't working. And we'd look at something for five minutes like, oh well, here's exactly why your Sonos yeah. isn't working. But it, anyways, we'll have that link in our description so you can check it out and see other problems that you've seen. But one of the things is you want to make sure with these products that you have them on what's called a reserved or it's called a static IP. Uh, and that reserved address ensures that these guys, every single time you use it, or if you, know, you wait a day or two between using it, that it doesn't disappear from the app and you're going like, hey, why is this thing not showing up in my app? And you gotta unplug it, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in. If you have a reserved or static IP, it doesn't disappear from your app, works great, and uh, ensures you're a happy music listening human. Yeah, keeps right? the ecosystem nice and, nice and sturdy. Yeah. So I would say, um, I don't want to call it a cop-out, because I love to say, you know, Sonos is a champion, or Heos is a champion. I'm going to say it's a, it's, a, it's a wash. You know, it kind of depends on, are you Apple Music guy? Are you budget guy? Because typically the Heos stuff sells for a little bit more. Um, or are you performance guy? Uh, there are other lines of streaming stuff that are out there. I'm not going to mention their names right now. I'm going to do it in another video. but. Um, I would not recommend some of those as much as I would these two. One of them is actually right here, sneak peek. Um, that's from another manufacturer that has all kinds of issues we run into. But yeah. uh, we've been big fans of the Heo stuff and Sonos stuff, and uh, we think that uh, you will be as well. So anything else you got? Yeah, uh, Bluetooth streaming to your little JBL ah. speaker is a thing of the past. And sound quality, that those are popular and cool, and even Bluetoothing to your sound bar is a thing of the past. But it is an option with the with the Denon. It isn't with the with the Sonos. That's a good point. Forgot good about point. that one. I did. I totally did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, you're going through Wi-Fi. It's depending on your network. So sound quality is going to be there. Dependability and how far you can go away from your unit is on Wi-Fi. It's not on Bluetooth. If someone walks in front of you. When you're playing bumping Wu Tang out of your JBL speaker, it's gonna cut out. You're gonna hear yeah. static and cut out. And you're like, "What's wrong?" It's you're well, not it's, gonna have that issue with these guys. Well, it's still uh, bump out if you're listening to your favorite flamenco music. My flamenco music, you know, I kind of got I'm jaded on flamenco. I you know I listen to too much and I you know so I'm over. Now you're on I'm on, I'm on I'm on Wu Tang. It's Wu-Tang, right. Wu-Tang Wednesdays. There we go. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Uh, Well, thanks for uh, tuning in and like and subscribe for other tech tips and that sort of thing. Thank you very much. Thanks. Have Have a good good day. day.